hey y'all so today's wig is coming from love me hair i'll be sure to put all the details and everything down below so to start off my hair is just in a really low bun and i have this beautiful i'm thinking it's a water wave wig like i said i'll leave all the details down below and then i just used my foundation which was a maybelline 24 hour infallible foundation i think and i just put that all underneath my lace with a foundation brush and then my same routine, you guys already know, I use the black got to be glued gel and the purple and blue got to be glued spray, blow dry on cool, and then I'll meet back up with you guys. Okay, so now I'm going to cut the lace off and honestly you guys, I don't know how to prevent cutting like a straight line. I tried to make it kind of jagged, but you guys will see my issue was I couldn't really do a side part because um, I didn't like how straight across my hairline was and I do not like forehead baby hairs on the front middle. So I had to figure out what I was going to do. So I opted for baby hairs on the sides and then I'm going to do two braids back into like, you know. A cute hairstyle y'all so that's what i'm gonna do and other than that all i did to finish the style off was cut the ends i didn't like any of those straggly ends um so i cut the ends and then that was it so i didn't bleach the knots or anything as you guys know i haven't been doing that and it honestly saves me so much time when doing videos number one number two i feel like you really can't even tell the difference and especially with this lace this lace as you guys can see is pretty blends in pretty easily i probably didn't ha even have to add the foundation but i did just to be sure um but yeah i like how it turned out i didn't even put foundation over like the top of the lace when i was done so yeah overall the hair first impressions you guys y'all know me the hair i give a 10 out of 10 it just did what it was supposed to do and then the lace i would give the lace a 9 out of 10 because the color was really easy to blend in with my skin tone but I didn't know how to make the hairline not so like straight across as you guys will see. So maybe that's where plucking comes in. <laughs> but you guys know I've been installing my wig super lazy so I don't really like to pluck anymore. I just like to see how it looks coming straight out of the box. And you guys will see at the end like you saw in the beginning. This is what I achieved by doing just that. So thank you so much to Love Me Hair for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to see how it turned out, then stay tuned to the end. And don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, leave a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next one. Love you. Bye.